Rangi on. Metoka mari dadi, metoka mari nadi. Kata kuli ya dadi. Iza, mada. Mada suke. Mbati ya fifty ani ni. Suka suka. Aya suni mbati ya fifty. Suka wa ya gari. Ulikuwa na ripia pa mat mbati wa ya we. Waga mbati riso gari wa suka. Suka, o meu padre disse o que o garia tu já tá tu já tá. Quem se bate é pipi bom. Ele não consegue dar para mim tanto. Ele está indo para o outro lado. 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 Ele está indo para o outro Ya nini? Ya nini? Ya nini? Ya nini? Patia 50 bomb. Patia 50 bomb. Kama anda. Patia 50 bomb. Hata namba na doktole ya namba ya gari. Yonde na ayo. Sasa hini. Alitaka 50 bomb. Sibiyo. Ya. Ya nini? Ya nini? Hata hiyo. Hata hiyo ni kusimama. Hata nilikuwa nafikiri ya tini mtu wakona matako. Kupe ni wewe. Kama ungeza mwana. 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 Mwesamu mwemanya nini? Tungekitisha uba. Manda uba. Ando kamanya hiyo kazi na manya wa uba meka. Sika kuna kwa wana malaya. Naitua Purity Mbugwa. Hii incident ilitokea jana around 3.30 p.m. Nilikuwa natoka mwea nikieleke ya dhika. Tukafika Kenol. Kwa tukafika Kenol kwa siti ya nyuma ya driver kulikuwa na kulikuwa na pregnant woman na mtoto wake wa around 7 years alafu kulikuwa na mama mzee wa 50 years na mimi na mtoto wangu na nilikuwa na mizigo so who conductor aka insist tusonge ndio aweke watu excess nikakata akaanza kunitusi na kutusi hadi mtoto wangu alafu driver akatoka aka akasema ati atakuja kunionyesha vile huwa nafanyia watu wa stubborn kama mimi akakuja akanitoa na akaniambia si mimi wa kwanza kuzaa so anaweza nitoa hadi hadi na mtoto nasisikie uchungu alafu alafu vile vile nilimwambia nipatie change ya kutoka kwenye wali, kwenye waliniacha hadi blue post wakakataa wakaanza kuongea vibaya ndio passengers wakasema ati wanipatie tu chenye nahitaji alafu vile niliwaambia ati mmeza wasu wakasema ati wanaweza nitolea hata number plate niende nayo instead juu hawashtuki wameona wengi siku furahia hata kidogo juu juu hata picheni alipotray kwa mtoto wangu ama kwa mtoto kwa watoto wenye walikuwa hapo si kichapoa according to vile alikuwa anatusiana hawafuati juu hata passengers wenye walikuwa vile nilisema sitasonga juu sitaki wa baby excess hakuna mtu aliteta apart from the pregnant woman so naonelea hiyo ku baby excess ndio hata inakosa accident so watu wanafaa responsible both the both the travelers and also the driver and the conductor um, ningetaka hatoi chukuliwe I would like them to face the law ndo wajue ku respect alafu wajue sheria za barabara Yes I was so embarrassed I was I was so embarrassed but at the same time I don't regret it because I know that it was the right thing to do Nimekuja hapa police station to sue them and to make sure that justice be prevailed Yes, man, Kisha statement.
Hata nilikuwa nafikiri hadi ni mtu akona madaa kwa kumbe ni wewe. Uh, this morning we have managed to, to uh, do an inspection on the, the motor vehicle KBU 254G. The ga speed governor was uh, found to have been disconnected sometimes in February. There were also some uh, missing uh, seat belt, uh, seat belts on the vehicle. So the vehicle has come out as an unroadworthy, which is not uh, was not supposed to be on, on our roads uh, ferrying passengers. Uh, the other issue we have done is we have summoned the circles, all the drivers and uh, conductors, so that they can be sensitized on uh, road safety. Uh, I would like to report that uh, this morning. We have managed to arrest uh, this matatu which is behind us, motor vehicle KBU 254G, which is a matatu that plies Nairobi to Meru, and it, it belongs to Meru Shuttle. Uh, the purpose for the arrest is the fact that, uh, as you saw in the social media, they ejected a female passenger who was having a child. The reason being that the passenger refused to move so that he could carry excess passengers. They had an argument and the Matatu crew were very rude to her and eventually they ejected her from the vehicle uh, to the extent of abusing her. Uh, the Matatu was circulated thanks to the person who recorded the incident and uh, circulated in the social media. Uh, us, as police officers, we also circulated the vehicle through our system and uh, our dragnet was cast wide and this morning we managed to arrest the vehicle. Uh, it is the owner who was driving the vehicle uh, when we asked him where the crew, the, the conductor was, and the driver, he said that they had run away and abandoned the vehicle. We have put the driver in custody. We intend to prefer charges uh, to him, take him to court this morning and charge him. First, for failing to maintain the names and records of the driver and the conductor. The second charge is that he has permitted an unroadworthy motor vehicle to operate on the road. Uh, I am here together with the NTSA officials who will also brief on what they have found because after the arrest we have taken the vehicle for inspection and one of the major things we have seen which is so shocking is that uh, the vehicle, the speed governor, was disconnected with effect from February. So you can see the impunity and the recklessness of uh, these persons. Uh, I would like to, this one to serve as a warning to other drivers and conductors to behave well and to be courteous when they are operating uh, ferrying passengers on the road. Because right now, as you can see, even the Wanainchi have joined in to ensure that the rule of law on the road is followed. The driver and the conductor, I'm appealing to them to present themselves to the nearest police station where they are. Because right now, we have circulated their particulars uh, countrywide, and they will be arrested whenever they will be found. So my appeal is that they present themselves voluntarily to the nearest police station where we can take action against them. But we are still looking for them. We shall not rest until they are put to book.